program. Today we're here with the CEO of Wanga, Mr. Martinez, Sarah from Practical Solutions, and Ms. Yomas, a customer of Wanga. Wanga is a digital finance company established in 2007. Brainchild of Mr. Errol Damelin, Wanga provides short-term cash flow solutions for individuals and it is formerly known as a payday loan company. Today we're going to be discussing the challenges that Wanga faces in terms of corporate social responsibility and we'll be getting some recommendations as how the direction of the company should be in the future. Considering payday loan companies, it's important to analyze the factors in an external environment. Hence why we have here the pestle analysis. We can see that legally there were no caps on the amount of APR that companies could charge as well as no limits on the amount of time that loans could be ro rolled over. In an economic point of view, we see that inflation has risen and more people are becoming unemployed. Ethically, we know that when people are in debt, short-term solutions are not the answer to the problem because this often leads to more problems in the long run. Um, we're going to start off by talking with Mrs. Yomas, who is a past customer of Wanga, and she's going to share her experiences with us. When I was watching telly one day, I've seen the advertisement for Wanga, which was saying they lend you money and it's in your bank account in 15 minutes, which was really good. When it came to the time for me to pay the money back, I couldn't because I still don't have a job and every, every day that goes by, they're putting more fees on it, which is getting more and more and there's no way I can pay it back. Mr. Martinez, what comments do you have about Mrs. Yomas' experience? Well, uh, the majority of our customers uh, pay back the loans on time. So basically, this is just an exception. What kind of research did you do in approving these payday loans? Because actually, Mrs. Yomas was unemployed and in debt. Why did you think that she would have been able to repay? Well, every time you apply for a Wonga loan, um, we check your records at the credit reference uh, agency to verify who you are and to check your credit worthiness. Referring to the Porter's Five Forces, uh, it is true that uh, we lend money to our customer with a high interest rate, which uh, lowers their bargaining power. However, uh, we, we offer a service that uh, nowadays less banks are doing it. Uh, the threat of a new, new interest is low because uh, it's not warranty that our customers are going to pay back uh, the loans. There are not uh, much substitute to pay the loans because uh, bank will not have an interest in it. And finally, since uh, Wonga is the number one pay the loans uh, lenders in the UK, uh, competition does not affect uh, greatly, even though the industry is going rapidly. So by using the SWOT analysis, I would like to explain you how our company works. Uh, our main strength is that by using the new technologies uh, to reduce the labor cost and be able to offer a service within a few minutes. Uh, our main weaknesses is that has been a misconception about the reputation which we are improving. In terms of opportunities, uh, due to the high demand of our services around the world, Wonga is expanding to new countries such as India. And one of our threats is like issues like identity thieves are being carefully studied. Corporate social responsibility means a company, including yours, needs to be responsible in certain aspects. These include ethical, social and environmental issues. Your company's competing value framework is geared towards the rational goal model. In respect of your effectiveness as a business, you should consider leaning towards an open systems model. This will ensure you improve your corporate social responsibilities and focus on community and consumers as opposed to just your shareholders. My recommendations to you would be that you are transparent with your customers, that you change your advertising techniques to not focus on unemployed or single mothers, so by changing your hours of advertising on the television. You're to freeze your rates of interest to avoid debt spiraling out of control for people. Changing all these aspects is fundamental. It will show that your company has accountability 
and integrity. Thank you very much, Mr. Martinez, for your presentation today. Now we're going to close the program. Thank you for watching.